Hello, I'm Malcolm Chapman. I'm Head of Collections Management at the Hunterian here at the University of Glasgow. Here we are in the Hunterian's Collection Study Centre in Kelvin Hall. This is where we keep one and a half million objects and specimens which belong to the University. These range from our art collection to numismatics, archaeology, decorative arts, to zoology, earth sciences and a huge collection of insects. These are used for teaching and research purposes across the University, as well as in displays and exhibitions, both here in Glasgow and lent for exhibitions abroad. We have archives for James McNeil Whistler, the American artist, and also Charles Rennie Mackintosh, one of Glasgow's most famous sons. The Collection Study Centre has been designed for the benefits of students we have a number of search rooms and teaching rooms where students can handle and engage with objects from across the collections. Within the College of Arts, there are many classes which use the collections in their teaching, so it's a real hands-on experience. Within Museum Studies, we look at a range of issues around objects, from their materiality, about their structures, how they can be used in teaching themselves, how we can select objects for exhibitions or for loans, how we acquire objects and develop the collections further. And we do this by using the existing collections as examples. So every time a student comes into the study centre, they get to see and work with real museum objects as part of their experience. Amongst the Macintosh collection, we have many examples of furniture that he's designed and made. In the store, we have a number of chairs, but we also have more on display up in the Macintosh house on campus. Amongst Whistler's collection, we have a huge range of items. We have prints and drawings, paintings. Many of those are unfinished, but we also have his complete archive of paintbrushes and paints, furniture, easels, etching plates, and lithograph stones. All of these were donated to us by his sister-in-law between 1935 and 1958. The university has a long history of research into Whistler, his methods and his techniques. And this is ongoing here at the study center where we have technical art history students sampling from Whistler's paints and paintings and analyzing how they have been applied and his processes in developing his artwork. One opportunity students have is to come and work with us and to offer tours of the galleries and the exhibition spaces to visitors. Some of these are scripted already, but there's an opportunity for students to do their own research and develop their own tours around our exhibitions. I'm standing here in the zoology racks next to some of our taxidermy specimens. And while these are mainly used in life sciences, there's also possibilities of using them across the university. So we can look at zoology specimens around issues to do with globalization or decolonization, around climate change, an impact on the environment. Over the course of an average year, we work with 45 different classes coming into Kelvin Hall. That has been, on average, over a thousand students per year, each of them engaging with objects. So we're looking at around about 9,000 objects a year are looked at by students from the university. The study centre is designed for, as well as for teaching, is designed for optimum use of the collections. So we have things stored in electronic roller racking units. The environment in the store ranges from 40 to 60% RH relative humidity throughout the year and at 19 to 23 degrees centigrade. We do this by allowing the plant to operate and respond to the environment outside. This means that the plant is not operating to its full capacity all of the time and this reduces the impact on the environment. The collections themselves are stored as densely as possible to make maximum use of the space. Because although this store is 990 square meters with one and a half million objects, we've calculated that covers approximately four and a half Hamden Park football pitches. To manage all of this collection, we've cataloged everything on our database on our collections management system. Every object and specimen has a unique barcode assigned to it. Every storage drawer or tray or even room has its own barcode. So when we move objects for teaching or research, we can scan the object as soon as it moves. So we know exactly when it's moved, where it is at any time, and also how many sessions it's been used for. This way we can make sure that 
The collections are refreshed, that we're not using the same objects year after year, and also that there's less impact on those objects. The collections amassed by William Hunter in the mid to late 18th century included a large number of objects collected by Captain Cook or collected on Captain Cook's voyages around the world, particularly from the Pacific and the Northwest coast of America. These are now important in the collection because they are from a time of increasing globalization and can also be seen as problematic in terms of the, the power relations to do around their collections. So our interest in these goes beyond the objects of themselves into the relationship between the source communities where they, they were originally made and to whom many of these objects still have importance and connections. One of the projects we're working on at the moment in partnership with other museums is around the potential restitution of African objects, particularly those from Ghana, South Africa and Egypt. During our planning for the Collection Study Centre, we realised that we're moving objects into here from nine different locations around campus in the city. And one of the key things we didn't want to do is bring in any pests from different sites into this building. The trophy heads behind me, for example, have all been through deep freeze. They were frozen for a week at minus 30 degrees, and this will kill off any insect that was in them. So if you come to study in Glasgow, you get an opportunity to handle objects such as this axe head from Shetland, which is round about six and a half thousand years old. Or this Greek oil bottle, a Lekythos, which is from the sixth century BC. We have a number of these in the collection. Some are on display, but many more are held in store. We bring them out for a range of teaching opportunities and students can get up close to each object and examine them in detail. The Hunterian has a collection of approximately 25,000 works on paper, prints and drawings from the 15th century onwards, including these fine works by the leading colorist J.D. Ferguson. The Hunterian collection is a unique resource for the University of Glasgow. For one and a half million objects, each is available for students to engage with, to get up close and to examine in great detail, either for the benefit of your course or for the development of skills for the future. We hope to see you here in the near future.